How's it going students? Today I'm going to give you some tips on how to import your files from Illustrator. So I'm going to go to the motion final part one and then on here I'm just gonna I'm gonna download the storyboards.eps by clicking on it then once it's all download downloaded I'm just gonna open it up with after or with Illustrator. And so the easiest way to work with these is to separate them all. And so what we're gonna do is just follow along with me. Highlight all of these and then press Command C and then press Command N and then title it cloud slide. Make sure the width is 1920 and the height is 1080 and press OK. It brings us up to a new artboard and then just press control V and it's all right there. And what we want to do is we want to separate the layers. And so the easiest way to do that is to go to our layers panel right here. If we go to this drop down menu. You see release layers to sequence, press that. And then you're going to highlight all of them by holding down shift and then going all the way to layer seven. And then you're just going to bring it up above layer one like that. And then you can see that all the layers are there. This should be the reflection. Yep. And then layer one, it'll have nothing on it. So you can actually get rid of it. So that's how you separate them and then you can rename them. Name this reflection. Arrow. I think this one's the cloud. Cloud. This is the box. And then what is this one? I don't think anything is on layer six. We can actually delete layer six. And then this layer is the background. We just call it background. BG. Once you do that, remember to press Command S to save it. And then just pick a place where you want to save it. Press yeah. And then, and then now I'm going to show you how to import it to After Effects. So we're going to open up After Effects. Once After Effects is open, and you have this panel, uh, just double click on the project panel, and then find your Adobe After Effects file. And then make sure when you have the option Import As, that you push Composition Retain Layer Size. Press Open. And then you'll have all of the layers in a folder and then you'll also have a composition and if you double click on the composition on the composition panel you'll see that all your layers are here the reflection the arrow the cloud the box the box in the background and they're all adjusted to the size of the layer which is nice for animating so that's how you import everything